Lucario. So we, I think so. We likely have a, a matchup of the two best, best players specialists. in the world. Best, uh, like you were talking about earlier, specialists. This is the, the tournament of specialists where we've got these niche and like there I see, you know, we've got two non DLC, no hate to the DLC, but just it's rare to see at this, this stage in the bracket, two completely non DLC niche characters being played at the highest level, and we are off, starting on small battlefield. Let's see where we take it. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is just a little bit of a feeling each other out moment. Yeah, that's. I, it. I feel like I feel like we see this a lot more rarely now. A lot of times, players just go absolutely in right at the start, but definitely, uh, definitely Gluto the one with the early leap. But that's, I mean. That's to be expected for a character like Lucario, right? Like, he wants that damage to build up on him. Obviously, he's not going to give it out for free, but once okay. he gets the aura, he gets combos like this, 43% cleanly from Armadillo. And now he has the opportunity to get even more trying to fish with those up airs, but great down air from Luto. And, oh, okay, okay. eating out the bike. Uh-oh. And it's... another bike is here. Down Smash trying to extend that hurt box, but Luto ready to react, knows when it's time. Oh, ooh, Cancel back air. Neutral be back air. And here's the situation, Jet, that you get in trouble with against Lucario. 140% on deck. This character will destroy you, will absolutely blow you up. And when you have the stock lead, oh. this is where this character can get really, really scary. So sad there for Gluto, missing that, missing like the strong hit of the dash attack. That's one of the dangers of, of you know, of Gluto's, uh, you know, just not being able to get the kill super cleanly. Sometimes you have to wait for a oh, for a back air like that. That's one of the, the best ways it. to get it done. But I mean, that was a very scary position to be in. Like you said, just at any point, we know Armadillo can rack up percent, but Gluto answering back so strongly with these claps. Oh my into God, the that was a walk. zero to death. Woo! Super clean, 111% unanswered. And this is the thing about Lucario, like I was saying, being really scary when you're up a stock with rage on deck the opposite becomes true when you're behind and all of a sudden your moves kind of feel like wet noodles that are just coming out and not doing a whole lot. So we're gonna have to see how Armadillo navigates the second stock and if he can find a commanding way to take it out and bring it to a last stock situation. Yeah, we're still gonna be looking for the same type of stuff for Gluto, but I mean, the utilization of that early half wap is actually so huge in this game. I, I really wanna point out the fact that he's going to have another another one available fairly soon. We're looking at we're looking at potentially two wafts in the game, and that's so scary to play against as Lucario, the up air does not beat out the bike so, so close. And now Armadillo at a super high percent on his last stock might be falling to one of these confirms, Goose. Yeah, and really needs to find the kill super, super soon here. And then just hope, a hope and a prayer that once able to get get him to his last stock, that it's not going to happen. Yeah. Just once he was going to be able to get into his last stock, you know, maybe cheese him out with some crazy aura I, shenanigans. I but. mean, at that point, when you're at last stock and you're at high percent with Lucario, that's, that's what you are... Like, that's what you play for. Right. right. If you're a Lucario main and you get your opponent, you know, you, you get their second stop off, stock off, you're at 120%, they're at zero. That's like the moments Lucario mains are locking like, that, for. That they that's lock when they in. lock in. That's what, they're, that's what they've been ready for the whole time. So I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see a position where Armadillo makes a huge comeback in those instances. But at the same time, Gluto is a player that I feel like is always making those comebacks. So I think he he is aware of he's very clutch of how One yeah of of what it takes to be clutch, right? So you know knowing knowing that I think is going to be a a big benefit for him in this matchup. Let's see if uh, Armadillo can lock in a little bit, get a uh, you know, get, get a, a lot more out of that aura because it feels like it just when he got to that high percent, Gluto was really good at not letting him play with that that super magic that he he normally gets. Yeah, and just was sticking to his game plan, was kind of just almost ignoring the fact, like, yeah, you may be high percent and kind of scary right now, but doesn't matter. I'm going to find my kill confirm, and I'm just going to I'm gonna play my game plan. And being un completely unfazed and off to the races again with what's looking like it's going to be about 50 unanswered percent. Yeah, and Gluto, so good at finding these confirms, so good at, at making the most of every opening. But right now, I mean, 
it's uh it's it's still very even i because we we talk about how you know you got to play a little bit from behind as a character like lucario and right now he's just, he's just dead even so he'll definitely take these absolutely and looking for a way to get off the ledge here I would love to see more shenanigans when it, behind using the neutral V to set up for a back air. But unfortunately, Lucario's framed at a, not the fastest. So you kind of got to be careful when you're scrapping here in CQC situation. Finding ways to make it work though, keeping this very, very close here. Yeah, but this is a super dangerous spot if you are Gluto, because any hit from Armadillo can kill at the moment. And Gluto isn't quite at that percent Ooh. where his normals do kill. Lucario just sits there and just Aura Sphere's right in your face. That's a, That was a Samus moment. That yeah, truly was. It's all. I always forget how big the Aura Sphere gets. It actually is so freakishly massive. Covers like the entire just up and down, up to the platform. Yeah, especially uh, with a higher percent with Aura at ledge, you can use it as a ledge trap because it will catch your, your ledge hang once it gets big enough. And now we're thinking, ooh, that uppy, you got to remember that that has an offensive move as well. And, oh, I was uh, unfortunate air dodge was maybe looking for the tech in that situation, but didn't find it and wasn't able to get the up B out in time after that air dodge. Very unfortunate, but unfazed going on a fair, fair up air train here and still keeping the lead, a pretty commanding one. Yeah, hasn't been touched yet on the stock, playing around the bike super well, picking up good combos, but Gluto tries to get back on the bike just as it disappears. And now it just seems like Armadillo has just not been hit by any of Gluto's movement options. He's really trying to find a big combo and he does so. But Armadillo trying to get that back air, trying to get a early kill onto Gluto. Back air not strong enough just yet without the aura and barely whiffing on that one. But uh -oh. huge opening. Oh, not oh. finding the wop just yet. I was scared for I was scared for Armadillo there. Yeah, really scared. And I liked Gluto respecting the neutral B there, but did not want to get hit by the aura sphere charging into a back air confirm, which would have definitely taken the stock here. This is looking really close. And with the waft on deck, you gotta be thinking about resource management. Does he wanna take it out here? Or does he wanna just try and land a back air and just save it for a last stock situation? Yeah, I don't think he's gonna have that luxury uh, of yeah. saving, uh, of, you know, getting two. So basically it's just, he needs to get this stock without it because we all know how clutch Gluto is in this last hit scenarios. But right now, he might not even get uh -oh. Armadillo to his last stock. Armadillo is all over this man. It's just, it's just hit after hit. How does Gluto even find a stock? He's only at 100. That's not even back air kill percent yet. Yeah, he's just, I don't know. Armadillo has just found the answer to weave in and out of the offense and the air dodge out, not the call. That's going to take it out with a convincing two stock. Some subtle adaptation and just the way Armadillo's moving around Gluto's offense, not getting, I mean, like we were saying, sometimes you hit and you don't get hit. And that's, it really comes down to that. I, I feel like that was a misinput. Yeah, I, I, I don't think I don't think he's intentionally air dodging away there. That that just guarantees you get hit by the aura sphere. I think yeah. that was just a, maybe maybe it was an air dodge fastball that somehow. No, I, think air dodge I, I, I also sure. saw no. And to be, I also like I looked at the player cam immediately and yeah. I, that that you saw was the head shake. Yeah, the it head was shake. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, one one. I mean, really good showing from both these players so far. I I, I liked a lot how Armadillo was navigating that platform and navigating the ledge traps. He was not letting himself get into a position where Gluto could set up the ledge trap. He was doing the, the wall jump B reverse to just use his momentum to get right back on the stage and just fight back yeah. immediately as opposed to just trying to get out of that, that negative position of being on the ledge. That's actually a really good call. Yeah, there really wasn't a lot of ledge. Frankly, there wasn't a whole lot of ledge trapping in general in this set so far. It's really just been there, been scrapping in the air on stage, finding kills wherever they can. And I think that's where Arm Armadillo wants to play. He yeah, wants Ar to scrap. Armadillo does not want to be on the ledge. He does not want to be trying to get off the ledge versus Gluto. He wants to completely avoid that circumstance, and it's been working out well for him in that, that second game. But all right, let's see if the bike control works out well. Great juke there by Gluto to get a huge combo. And oh man, this is just, they're going back and forth, beating the brakes off each other. Yeah, it really has just been like, all right, whose turn is it? I guess it's my turn for the aerial conversion. And then we're, we're off to the races. Truly, it really is just scrappy back and forth play in center stage, pedal to the metal, or should I say bike to the face. <laughs> Yeah, I, all right, Lucario now trying to, 
Uh, I mean, this is this is where the aura really starts to be effective. Is at this 100% range, still, still a little bit to build. But I mean, this is a it is a massive upgrade to all of Armadillo's moves at, at this point. And now he has oh. barely able to get out of that corner and oh, trying to get the command grab. But still, I mean. This is a position he did not want to be in on the ledge, but he does oh, get and the, the conversion into the up air, and this is how that's how he got the first stock in the in the first game. It but he's really still just getting so much damage out of this. As an out of shield option, having a neutral B that's actually offensive is really interesting. Really smart there from Pluto, though, just using the bike, finish off Armadillo's first stock, bringing it back to essentially just dead even. Yeah, still uh, able to. Still able to get this combo though, not getting exactly the hit he wanted, but going back to ledge is a dangerous proposition versus Gluto, who is so good at these edge guards with the down air trying to reset the situation. But I mean, it's a low percent. You still have the opportunity to just get hit, take it, and move on. And like you were saying, Jet, really just not wanting to get stuck there and managing not to, just really just kind of skipping the whole ledge trap. And moving back to center stage has to be cognizant, though, of that waft that is on deck. And again, when you think about resource management, are we going, are we are we clicking next button, or are we waiting? Uh, I uh -oh. think he's not going to have, oh, Ooh, but missing. Wow, I, I mean, rare drop there from Armadillo, but still, I mean, it is a it is a very even game despite the fact that the waft is online. I think at this point, we're definitely looking at a last stock waft if he can find it, but I mean, once again, Armadillo at this 100% mark while Gluto's on his last stock. And this is such a dangerous position. Oh my position. God. He's going to take so much off of this interaction, but no, manages to fight his way out with that forward air. Gluto now picking up the bike, trying to find his way in on Armadillo, who's utilizing these powered up aerials, that powered up side B, and keeping Gluto at bay, not fighting directly with him. Dash tag, Still living. Not enough to get this stock boost, but the nice forward tilt and does. Tilt. And Armadillo would have loved to tack on a bit more extra credit or even just end it right there with that full aura. But now, with a little bit of a lead to work off, and he's saying, you know what? I'm going to remember the fact that I do have a projectile, and uh, yeah, you got to approach me, and I'm going to chill here under the platform. And Gluto says, I am happy to oblige, good sir. I will come for you and tack on that damage. Oh, but not getting the second hit of the neutral layer that he was looking for. That's what he needs to extend the combo. And still just a ton of, oh, uh -oh. a ton of Whoa, pressure exuded by the fact that Waft is here. Waft could be coming out at any point. Uto, so terrifying to play a last stock against, but Armadillo is known for these clutch situations. The up air, the second okay. one, but it's not the setup that he's looking for for the Waft. Still needs uh -oh. to find the right hit, but Armadillo not giving it to him. The oh, walk no. on the bike, it is actually a detriment to him. Normally he uses that to try to bait somebody in because it extends the hitbox. But that time, it just gave Armadillo more time to react, more time to go up there and get the finishing blow on Gluto, who was helpless as a result of that fart. Oh no, not like this Gluto. Truly stellar awareness from Armadillo just to make sure to take advantage of that situation, be cognizant of that game plan that Ludo is known for and being able to capitalize on it. Really just incredible stuff. Yeah, I'm I'm and, I'm, uh, uh, I'm not sure if uh all right, I think we're going we're getting into the game now. Right now production has us on uh Thank you. Thank you. All right. Cool. All right, here we're we're back. We're and back in the game. We're back in the game. Back to PS2 as well. I, I I was gonna mention I was like I don't really feel like the stages have like really mattered almost at all for these frankly for these uh, for these these matches so far. It's really just felt so scrappy. Like I think they both kind of want to have platforms, but other than that, yeah. Uh, it is a. I mean, but now Armadillo is the one with the lead. Gluto not normally oh. known for almost killing for him right there. This, I mean, if you had any aura whatsoever that kills, I mean, it's it's a forward smash that is so incredibly strong. But right now, I mean, it's a uh, it's just the armadillo show. He's just making a making a showing of how how he can utilize this character even with low aura. And the back air not quite gonna do it. Throwing that out to cover the mid recovery. Oh my God! What a counter! Wow, that, that counter is untackable so early. That's crazy. 
especially because it just countered Wario up B, like one of the weak hitboxes of it. And now Armadillo is just running, <laughs> running all over Gluto, really figuring out something about this matchup, figuring out how to find Gluto's weaknesses in his defense. And he is racking up the percent. He is a stock ahead, footstool down here out of shield. So much damage already on this next stock, and he is completely running away with this game, Goose. Jet, we're, we're, I think we're witnessing history right here. Armadillo just playing out of his mind. Low key, there's gonna be about 100 new Lucario mains after this set, just inspired by what we're seeing here on the screen. The movement Ooh. just impeccable. Neutral B back air again as the option. Ludo looking completely lost about how to deal with Armadillo's just incredible offense and just the way he's able to move and navigate this. Oh, he's up three stocks to one, Jet. He's up three stocks to one. How, I mean, Gluto is the king of clutch, but how do you clutch against a character like this who just has so much damage output, so much ability to keep you at bay? I mean, Gluto, need, he's gonna need three walls to make this comeback. Yeah, and just, you know, we think about, oh, well, he's almost he's almost dead here, but now you're dealing also with Aura Lucario. Okay, okay. F tilt to get something started. Gluto known for being able to make these insane comebacks. You absolutely can never count this guy out. Probably, there's, no, there's no way he does it, right? I, no way, right? We, like, you know, we 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 know he's done it before. But the thing is, Armadillo is playing out of his mind right now. So this is Ludo's going to have to turn something on. That was a nice 45% combo, but not letting any wasps rip right now. He knows he needs it for the last stock. Just going for tech chase reason. Ludo has kind of become untouchable for a little bit right now. Armadillo finally uh -oh. picking up a couple oh, hits. Oh, but that's probably going to do it. And, yeah. it. and Armadillo, no pop-off. Just a little bit of a Just handshake a little, in the yeah. air. He's like, you know what? You know what it is. I do this every day. Oh, breath out. And that's all it takes. 3-1 on Gluto. That's the, what, number three seed at the event? Yeah, and I'm, I don't. And I'm, I'm basically the number two because Sonics isn't here. Wow. Wild. I, I really mean it when I feel like we were witnessing that set. That that's People are going to be talking about that set. I mean, they people should be. They, they, yes, they should, should be. be. Armadillo just be Gluto. That's crazy. And they're going to be talking about in the context of the players and in the context of the characters. Like I was saying before the match started, if there's one thing you will never hear anyone say about Lucario, is how fun they are to watch when they're <laughs> piloted at a high level. Maybe some people. I'm sure there's, I can find naysayers. But just the way that he's able to move, the way he's able to set up confirms and kills, truly different than any other character in the game. And when you're Armadillo, yeah, let's, you're say, let's take a look at these replays for sure. I don't mean to interrupt. Yeah, no, yeah, let's go for it. But I just, I, I love to see how Armadillo was finding these kills. Like there was a lot of times where it was threat ranges that you're not normally used to, right? That that aura charge, oh, and <laughs> that was a, he was a huge answer back from Pluto, just making it look like, making it look easy, honestly. Harry, Dash, Jack, Pluto found a lot of great openings. He had, I mean, he was playing so well, but I, that was, that was just a Samus moment. Classic Samus moment. Unfortunate SD there. I mean, forced SD a little bit. It's like Pluto does that specifically so people will try to tech. Um, and yeah, it's just a, yeah. a huge opening using that, that up air instead of the back, knowing that Pluto was DIing in. Yeah, super smart there, being able to figure out like, oh, that th this option is also going to work, especially with the amount of aura and rage that I had at that moment. I mean, Ar Armadillo, you know, making a, making it, I mean, making it look easy here. Knowing, I, knowing exactly how to punish that, that up air was super clutch because, you know, sometimes some people would have been just like, like panicked in that situation. And that great that, counter. And well. that was the one counter of the entire set. The only one set. in the whole set. The only one in the entire set came out in that key moment. And that's one of those keys of a top player when you have your kit and of course there's a, chunk of the kit you're using all the time, constantly. But then there's these little niche parts of the kit that most players, they're like, eh, it's bad, I don't really use it, it's too risky. The highest level of players use every element of the kit, maybe not Ganondorf up tilt. Other than that, not counting that, shh, yeah. Other than that though, finding ways and situations to use pieces of the kit when the, their opponent least expect it, and in that situation, an unteckable counter found that stock. That's one way to get it done, I mean, just a, that was that was an awesome uh, that was an awesome way to end that set. I, it, it really felt like Armadillo was in such control that last game. Yeah, just in the driver's seat, just the the perfect balance between respecting the options.
that Ludo, that he knows Ludo can put out there and the damage potential for his combos, but not taking the pedal off the gas. It really felt like I'm in the Camaro, I'm going to 120 miles an hour, and yeah. I see the finish line, and I'm I'm full holding the W key. I'm going forward. Okay, but that being said, we do have a nether set to play coming up. Raflo versus Yoshidora, and I do not think we're going to be seeing the Samus this time. I would be very surprised. I think, yeah, I think the you want the Palu uh, for for sure here. Certainly, uh, Samus Yoshi about a evenish even matchup, but. When we're talking about uh, playing against one of the kings of the dinosaurs, yeah, and you I want the ultimate dinosaur slayer, who I think is going to be the long-haired angelic maybe. lady. Maybe she is. Maybe maybe Yoshidora. Or maybe though, not. Maybe he's built different. I do want to make a note that uh, Raflo did just 3-0 Chag in the Palu Ditto right before this. So <laughs> coming off a, I, I would say that's a that's a brutal, long, tough matchup. But he did it. He did it 3-0, you know, didn't didn't worry about uh, anything other than just getting the job done. And I mean, now against Yoshidora, one of the top seeds of this tournament, um, this is where you you, you kind of have to prove yourself. Both these players will be making it to tomorrow, guaranteed, with the winner moving on into the top, uh, top 12 winner's side and the loser moving on into the uh, top 24 loser, loser side. So just a... Uh, a bit that they are they're both they're both gonna be here tomorrow don't worry about not seeing one of these people tomorrow because they will both be here however being in, uh, being in the winner side a little bit better than the, the loser side certainly having those extra sets to work with a real nice cushion and if you've got aspirations of top eight which i know both of these players do really would love to be on winner side of top eight yeah i mean especially like Ravlo after after gluto just dropped there wants uh, i'm sure wants to represent Europe in a great light wants to show that they can make it happen at the highest of levels. And uh, well, as we're seeing tried and true, the super aggressive Yoshi coming in here to play. This is a character who can also be incredibly aggressive though. So it's gonna be interesting to see how the air to air combat regret. works out. Yeah, I mean, the last time we saw Yoshidora really taking control over the stage and making sure that whenever you try to come back, you ate a hefty punish for it. But I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a lot of mix-ups. The sniper, can, oh. can we cut? Hey, Not yo, actually. Where's, 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 the, where's, where's the, the egg sniper? The egg sniper, egg yeah. Sniper, egg sniper in the crowd. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're lifting it up. Shout out to the egg sniper person in the chat. Oh, man. Yeah, that's rough. That's a rough way to start. Um, also, I don't know if you noticed earlier, but the Palu grab just whiffed. I don't know if you noticed that. It was yeah. just like, it was a little sussy looking. I was like, whoa, that Palu, patch a Palu long time grab ago. Palu got nerfed. It did that, get nerfed. It still sucks. It's actually super unfortunate for, for her, but you know. Uh, it kind of needed to happen, but I was like, come on. She she needs that at least. True. But I mean, oh, Yoshidora gosh. doesn't need anything more than what he is taking right now as he gets a ledge trump and he gets a back air. Not enough to get the kill yet, but he's still going off stage. Trying to find more. Ooh, oh. I, I don't know what he was going for there, but rip jab one. That was, that was scary. That was super scary. Still gonna make it back onto the stage fine, and not get punished for that. But the back air is here. It's almost gonna get the kill. Neutral air still in a position to get keep the pressure on, maintaining stage control. Good biting out of the corner for Raflo, who gets a forward air, and I do think that'll be it. Oh, if he can get this out. kill, yes. Really good way to not get shaken by that unfortunate dropout and get the up air. I mean, 141, uh, gonna need to really dig deep to try and even this up. Yeah, I mean, Palu, a character that has to take, you know, a, a lot of interactions to get the yeah. kill. 